Doggy. Hey, welcome to Larry's Country Diner. We've got a great show for you today. We're going to have some fun, so don't go anywhere. Right now, I want to introduce you to a man who makes sure that every pie you get in this place is fresh. Because at the end of the day, he eats all the leftovers. <laughs> Here's Larry. He's right. He's right. You know what? I, I, Renee pointed something out to me. She said, Larry, you're drawing from the wrong promise box. <laughs> and I'm going, how can there be a wrong promise? All right? Let's just test him out here. Okay. Here's one. But he who stands firm to the end will be saved. That's Matthew 24, 13. Somebody's having too much fun in, I know. in the mm -hmm. kitchen. I know. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Well, that's a good one. Matthew 5, 4. No, both of them are good. Hey, y'all back here in the kitchen, y'all want to hush up, please? <laughs> I think it's Ben Isaac back there. Oh, that figures. That, that, yeah, that's trouble right there. Well, just sing on key then. <laughs> so which one do you like best? Well, those are both good. I, I like both of them. But see, I prefer this one because at the end you go. Oh, so it's got that it is a good, yeah. Click. But then he puts these in. They're not oh. color coded and he reads the same one sometimes. Well, that's okay. Sometimes well, we need I, to hear sometimes them. Sometimes I read the same scripture in the Bible. Haven't you ever opened your, your, and found one that was underlined? Yeah. A one that what was, do you do with that? One that was crossed out. Go to a know. different one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Those are that that that's the promise. Both of them. They're good. good. They're both All good. of them. Yeah, both of them. Blessed are they that mourn, for they should be comforted. That's been that's How really. How come you're not comforting me? <laughs> I'm not mourning you yet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put that off for a while. Well, you missed a chance when COVID came and left. Uh, that wasn't as bad as just going off the side of the mountain. Well, that, in Montana. Yeah. But that was just me. It wasn't the rest of the population. One, one problem, and one mistake, and they hold it up to oh, you the rest the of your life. It's just amazing. Mr. Conley. Yes, sir. How are you? Good to have you here. Thank you. Good yes, to be back. John Conley, Good grand old opera star. You, you, you better you. believe Thank it. You. Thank you, sir. I heard you rehearsing a couple of things. You're going to bless us with a song? We're going to, we're going to do our best to do, do that. it. Do it. Do All it. All right. Do it. Well, here we go. Here's a song that Guy Clark wrote, one of his best, I think. Love the philosophy of life that is underlined by this. Let us now praise the carpenter and the things that he made And the way that he lived by the tools of the tree I can still hear his hammer singing ten penny time Working by the hour till the day that he died He was tough as a crowbar he was quick as a chisel, fair as a plain lord, and true as a lemon. He was straight as a chalk line, right as a rule. He was square with the world, he took good care of his tool. Steve! He worked his hands in wood from the crib to the coffin With a care and a love that you don't see too often He built boats out of wood, big boats, working in a shipyard Mansions on the hill and a birdhouse in the backyard He was tough as a crowbar, he was quick as a chisel Fair as a plain lord and true as a lemon He was straight as a chalk line, right as a rule He was square with the world, he took good care of his tools There is he worth cutting down a tree for is worth doing right don't the lord love a two by four 
And if you ask him how to do something, he'd say like Noah built the ark. You gotta hold your mouth right, son, and never miss your part. You'll be tough as a crowbar. You'll be quick as a chisel. Fair as a plain lord and true as a lever. You'll be straight as a chalk line and right as a root. You'll be square with the world. You take good care of your two. Thank you. I was observing some carpenters the other day. Mm -hmm. Something about that song just rings true to me. Oh, it does. It's it's great. Guy, of course, Guy Clark wrote it, and he was not just a carpenter. I mean, he could build musical instruments and did. Wow. I mean, he was a craftsman in that in that regard. But again, I love the philosophy of life that is underlined by that song, and we could use a whole lot more of that these days. I think. Isn't that the truth? Mm -hmm. Amen. Man, I had Preach a... Preach on, brother. <laughs> they're, they're building in my house an elevator. They're building an outside shaft for it that will, excuse me, match the house. But then they, uh, it'll come into my office because I, I, I can't, I'm having trouble going up and down stairs now. Right, right. And so I looked at it and I thought, now, when I was in my 20s, I had an El Camino. Then in my 30s, I had an El Dorado. Now I got an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Oh, we will be back in just a moment. And Nadine's going to join us. Stay tuned. Where are you going? Oh, good. <laughs> Welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. I got to warn you folks, Nadine's on the way and so is the chicken man. So here we go. There's Larry. I mentioned old is when. A couple of shows ago. Yeah. Old is when you don't care what where your spouse goes. <laughs> just as long as you don't have to go along. There you go. <laughs> you hear that? And this one, a sexy babe catches your eye. And your pacemaker opens the garage door. <laughs> <laughs> I got another song. I sure do. As a, as a matter of fact, uh, if you remember hearing this song on the radio when it was out as a single, which was the first time 1976, there's a good chance this song applies perfectly to you, at least as far as the age part is concerned. I hope the storyline doesn't apply to you. However, this is called The Backside of 30. Making money at 30 With a wife and a son Then a short five years later It all comes undone She's gone back to mama With the boy by her side Now I'm wine drunk and running Backside of 30 and back on my own, an empty apartment don't feel like a home on the backside of 30, the short side of time, back on the bottom with no will to climb. Just called and sick. I skipped work last Friday to drink this month's rent. And when my friends ask me, Lord, I tell them I'm fine. But my eyes tell a story that my lies can't hide. I'm on the backside of 30. Back on my own, an 
empty apartment don't feel like a home on the back side of 30 the short side of time back on the bottom with no will to climb Thank you. What's happening next for you, rec you recording-wise? Uh, I'm sorry? What's happening next with you recording-wise? Uh, we're re uh, working on a second gospel uh, album, and uh, so we're con continuing to record for that next week and hope to have it out here in the next few months, you know, Good. before this year is out. Good. We're, we're about halfway stuff. through. We've got, a, we've got enough to do an album now, but I wanted to... I wanted to have a little more to choose from. I keep, yep. I keep thinking of more songs I want to do. <laughs> That's got to stop some point. There's a plethora of them out there. Oh, there are, yeah. And and classic, a lot of yeah. them are classic songs. There are some new, There's some new material on it as well. But they will have a distinctive melody, a storyline. They won't be one line repeated 48 times. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We need to take a break. Take a break now. We'll be right back. Okay. John, they'll take any song, old or new, and make it sound like nothing else. It's so good. We'll be back with more right after this. Well, she's been spotted in the parking lot. I think she's on the way in. Nadine's on the way in. That's Larry right there. Was that her music I heard? I, I thought I did. Uh, there it is. And here she is. Nadine, Nadine. You know, when, when you first open that door, mm -hmm. the look on your face is like... Another whoa. day, another dollar. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to close How you the doing? door. He can't afford you know, the bill as wrong it is. With, something's wrong with that door. I don't know what it is. It's the person that came in it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, John. Hello. How y'all doing? doing hey, great. don't She's shake the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. I was just telling John how good it was to have him here. Oh, it is good. I like his music. My husband, uh, Homer, is uh, very upset, and he's not wearing any rose-colored glasses. He got his uh, tax return returned to him because it said the IRS said it wasn't acceptable. Uh oh. Which and, meant uh, what? Well, it said, how, is there, do you have anybody dependent on you? And he put, yeah, 11 million illegal immigrants, 31 million crackheads, 2 million prisoners, and 650 idiots in Washington. <laughs> and they sent him back. They sent it back. They said... They said, this is not acceptable. And he wrote him a little note and he said, well, who'd I leave out? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, a lot of people, a lot of critics say that Washington doesn't handle, uh, what do you call it? Secret, service, uh, secret uh, intelligence. So yeah. I think they do a tremendous job hiding their intelligence. <laughs> 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 Tell you what, if liars' pants caught on fire, the news would be a heck of a lot more interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah. They have fire every week, every day. <laughs> well, uh, you know, sometimes I wonder why we're so obsessed with finding life on other planets because you can't find intelligent life here in much, much anymore. I'm on a soapbox today. I'm not trying to be funny. It's just, you know, I'm just telling it like soapbox it is. Soapbox time. Yeah. Got to get it out of your system. Mm hmm I'm feeling better already. <laughs> <laughs> Homer had a hunting buddy. He said... Uh, he said he'd figured out that if you get out and you're hunting and you get lost, all you got to do is start talking politics because somebody will show up to argue with you. <laughs> yeah. Tis true. They all need a straight jacket. But anyway, I'm going to go put the sign up. Yeah, when all else fails, put the sign up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's I it going to say? We got to wake everybody up here, John. You need to wake everybody up here. It's going to say... America lost its true identity when more value was placed on suits and a signature 
rather than overalls and a handshake. Oh boy, you've oh, got it. Oh man, that's good. That's gonna take me a while. I'm yeah. gonna be out there two days putting that up. <laughs> no, but it's so true. It is. You need to get out there and flag traffic down and point the sign and make yeah. sure right. they read it. People I love are. it. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. I thank you for all you do, Nadine. Well, yeah. I appreciate that, Larry. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I try my darndest sometimes. This is Larry and Nancy and Eddie and Sharon. I want to thank you for such an inspirational show. We're blessed with each week when we watch it, the entertainers. You've selected Never Disappoint. Nadine certainly makes us laugh, but her church signs are absolutely right on point. I got that one, for you. you. <laughs> Larry, Nancy, and Eddie and Sharon. Oh, that's You sweet. got it. You know, I started doing church signs, and I would try to do them funny at first. And then I realized, you know, we need to be doing something serious. So I've really gotten a lot of good emails on, on church signs. Yeah. Because church signs, I mean, they really speak to me. You read them as you go down the road? I do. As I'm talking on my phone and texting. <laughs> yeah, I do that too. <laughs> All right. Do we have another song out of that? We do. Woo. We do. We'll, uh, th this will be the, uh, let's see, diametrically opposed in a lot of ways to Backside of 30, which we already did. Uh, this would be a better aspiration for your relationship going forward. Now, this is called As Long As I'm Rocking With You. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Good one. Doesn't matter long as I'm staying with you. Staying with you. I'm always happy, whatever I'm doing. It doesn't matter long as I do it with you. It doesn't matter As long as I'm rocking with you Wherever I'm working Whatever it's paying It doesn't matter Long as it's working with you with you These things I believe in Some people call dream It doesn't matter Long as I'm dreaming with you Dreaming with you I may never have much silver and gold Something more precious and warmer to hold And that old rocking chair don't scare me like it used to It doesn't matter As long as I'm rocking with you No, it doesn't matter As long as I'm rocking with you Whoa. Thank you 
I know you were a disc jockey for a long time. When I was a disc jockey, I used to love to play your songs. Well, bless your heart. Thank you. There's something so gentle and nice with them. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for playing them, too. <laughs> did, did you get the checks? No, I guess we don't talk about that one. <laughs> no. No, you didn't. I, no. Uh, I got the uh, overdraft notice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Let's get out of here for a minute. We'll be right back. Yeah, you sent me all the free records I could play. It was amazing. Larry's Country Diner will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Hey, welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. Oh, John, did you see our special today? No. John Conley's rose-colored sponge cake. <laughs> To lift you out of the blues just like his rose-colored glasses guaranteed to improve your mood and bring a smile to your face. Try some. There's Larry. If sponges are so, so good to soak up water, yeah. what are they doing at the bottom of the ocean? That's a good question. What? They ain't soaking up water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Water yeah, that's long. it. <laughs> they get heavy. They get heavy, get that. Just one of those little anomalies. I know. It, it's something to think about. You the give, Lord goes, hey, let me let them figure this you out. You give me a lot of those. John Conley. Merle Haggard wrote this song back in 1970, as it turns out. And it was never a single or anything for him, but just an album cut. And he wrote it as a commentary on the Vietnam era of our right. history, when we were once again in turmoil, as we are now. Yep. And what amazes me about this song 70 uh, some odd years later is it applies altogether too well to what we're going through in the 2000s. This is called, but it provides the answer. That's what I love about mm -hmm. this. It's called Jesus Take a Hold. This world has never been in the awful shape it's in. Jesus, take a hold and lead us through Like the ancient Roman Empire This world is doomed to fall And it's much too big a thing for mortal man Just take a look around and see the writing on the wall Somehow we've got to find a helping hand This world has never been in the awful shape it's in And people scorn the things our leaders do It's time a prayer was spoken from the heart of every man Take a hold and lead us through The mighty roar of gunfire Is now a local sound And our city streets are filled with angry men Law is now a mockery Throughout our troubled land and destruction seems to be the current trend This world has never been in the awful shape it's in And people doubt the things our leaders do It's time a prayer was spoken from the heart of every man Jesus, take a hold and lead us through This world has never been in the awful shape it's in And people scorn the things our leaders do It's time a prayer was spoken from the heart of every man Jesus, take a hold and us through Jesus take a hold and lead us through oh yeah amen Woo! wow wow he was an interesting writer 
He was. He was great. Unreal. Uh, the the body of work he produced uh, will be unequaled, I think. Uh, yeah. You know, and, and I, we'll all be listening to him years and years down the road. Uh, I'll never stop. He was great. Timeless. Great singer too. Timeless. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Found it interesting that uh, the Malpas brothers opened for him for seven years. Oh, is that right? Out on a road. Oh, that's great. What a great experience. We got to do a few shows with him, but uh, nothing like that, of course. But Yeah, uh, they uh, and then they would have to beat it back to North Carolina. Right. Because one of them worked in a uh, tobacco farm and the other worked in a mechanic Trans shop. Yeah, transmission shop. There you go. Right. There so you for go. seven years, they had to beat it back to make their make the gig. That would be a, a challenge from some of the places out west, I'm sure. <laughs> But to, to have the experience of doing that. Oh, yeah. yeah. At their age. That's and right. Now. Incredible. Wow. Are you writing anything new right now? Writing anything new? No. I, I write, uh, I, I, you know, I never did write prolifically. I wrote a couple of songs early on, Backside of 30 and Rose Colored Glasses, when I was still on radio and all that. But writing was never my main stick. Singing was always the thing I wanted to do. And once we had success, suddenly all of the A-team songwriters, Harlan Howards and Sonny yep. Throckmorton's and all those people are throwing songs at us. And I said, well, why should I bother? <laughs> I'll just take them, you know. And it worked out fine. Why should I work on my own car when you yeah. work on it? But I write, if I get an idea, I write it down. I've got a lot of scraps of paper with ideas. Yeah, I think that's it for us. Over way Thank too you soon. for being with us today. Oh, don't forget when you walk into Cavender's, tell him you were a watcher of Larry's Country Diner. Tell him Larry sent me. <laughs> Get out of here, Keith. Larry's Country Diner, one thing left to do. Larry's Country Diner, where the cameras are always rolling, and we, we don't, don't care. care. Thank <laughs> you.